I'm Tom Ed Wilson, president of the Chattanooga Chamber, and I welcome you to this Small Business of the Year Awards for 2011. This is a wonderful crowd. It's going to be a beautiful day, and we just thank you all for being with us to start today. Please rise, and our invocation will be given by the Reverend Ann Weeks, and that will be followed by the National Anthem from Lon Eldridge, Gavin Cross, and Stacy Carmosino. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the opportunity of freedom and prosperity in this great land. We humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will. Bless our land with honorable industry and sound learning. Fill our hearts with thanksgiving. We especially ask your blessings on the nation of Japan and their people during this devastating time for them and for our world. Grant all of us your grace and wisdom at this time. Please bless this food in the hands that have prepared and served it. And we ask your continued blessings on us so that we may be a blessing to others. In your holy name we pray, amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous Fly o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the Once again, let me thank you for being with us uh, this morning uh, at our Small Business Awards breakfast. We have a, a, a very, very large crowd, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,100, uh, which speaks so highly, I think, to the Chattanooga region's support of small business. And it says a lot about what we are and who we are as a community. So thank you for being with us again. The small businesses that we honor this morning represent a very wide cross-section of Chattanooga's business community. The obstacles they faced and the successes they've enjoyed are as varied as the products and the services that they offer. But all of these businesses share a deep commitment to the community. They have invested here and they have created jobs here. All of our Small Business Award finalists have also given back to the community through volunteerism and philanthropy. That culture of coming together is what sets us apart from other places. Collaboration is the essence of Chattanooga Can Do. We're fortunate to have attracted some big name companies in recent years, but ultimately the strength and the resilience of our economy rests 
on the growth and the competitiveness of our homegrown companies. So if you would, please join me in thanking all of our small businesses that are represented in this room for what they do for Chattanooga every day. Thank you, small business. We have some public officials I would like to announce that are here today and ask them to stand, get them all on their feet. Uh, first of all, I want to ask, uh, we have our Hamilton County Mayor, Mayor Jim Coppinger, and our City of Chattanooga Mayor, Mayor Ron Littlefield, our partners at, in, at the chamber, and I want them to stand up. And I didn't say it uh, a few minutes ago, but uh, a great deal of our success has to do with the, uh, the way that the private and the public sector works together here in Chattanooga. You would think that's a given, but it's not a given. Uh, it's somewhat unique to our city, and I can't tell you how fortunate we are to have uh, city and county officials that work with us, and we appreciate you all so much. Uh, also, we'd ask Betsy Rinaldi from uh, Bo Senator Bob Corker's office, who is here to stand. And from Hamilton County, we have Commissioner Chester Bankston. And from the city of Chattanooga, we have Chairman Manny Rico, if they would stand. And let's thank them for what they do. Thank you. We couldn't have these events if it would, was not for our sponsors, and, and if you would look on the screens on each side of me, as I recognize the sponsors, our platinum sponsors this year are EPB, Volkswagen Group of America, and Nova Copy. Our gold sponsors are Chainless Bonner and Stoffel, Comcast, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee, The Jones Company, and Unum. Our silver sponsors are American Airlines, AT&T, Chatham, Dairyberry Public Relations, Double Cola, Lattimore Black, Morgan and Kane, Henderson, Hutcherson and McCullough, PLLC, Northwest Georgia Bank, Tandas Flooring, Terra 9 Technology Solutions, Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union, and SunTrust Bank. Our media uh, supporters are the Brewer Media Group, Citadel Broadcasting 107.9 Big FM, Partners for Christian Media, J103, Fairway Outdoor uh, Advertising, City Scope Magazine, Chattanooga Times Free Press, The Pulse, WDSI TV, Fox 61, WDEF FM Sunny 92.3, WTCI-TV, PBS, and WTVC, News Channel 9. Let's thank them for supporting us this morning with this event. Thank you, sponsors. Now I invite Denise Reed, who uh, has the awesome task of chairing the Small Business Awards Committee to come and begin the awards presentation. Denise. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're awake by this hour of the day, and I am thrilled to be the chairperson of the Small Business Awards Committee. And first things first, I want to invite all the members of the Small Business Council to stand and remain standing to be recognized as for their participation in the Small Business Awards that culminate many hours of meetings and discussions and very thoughtful deliberation over the nominees and the finalist decisions. So um, if you could please stand and be recognized if you participated in this committee or were a judge or um, participated in, I'm trying to find our little table make sure that everyone stands and is recognized. Um, if you could please offer a round of applause for their volunteer contribution for this. We had an incredible pool of entries this year that created some very difficult decisions um, for our judges and all of the small businesses we're honoring this year have overcome extraordinary odds to get where they are today, and each of them has worked tirelessly to cultivate enterprises dynamic as the markets we serve here in Chattanooga. 
whether they've invested in employees and technology or refocused their marketing strategies to strengthen their competitive edge, all of the small businesses we're recognizing this morning have found ways to grow during these economic downturns, which I think is amazing and should be applauded on its own. And as Tom had mentioned earlier, the level of community involvement this year's finalists have exhibited is truly outstanding. Some of these businesses have started programs in area schools, and others have plugged their employees into community service programs throughout the Chattanooga area. This year's finalists have really stepped up to share their resources with the rest of the community when others may not have thought they were able to. And before we begin our 28th year of celebrating small business, I'd like to invite this year's finalists and all previous winners to stand if they're in the audience so they can be recognized by their peers. If you would please stand at this time. That's awesome. Thank you for your contributions to the community. And with no further ado, I would like to uh, find out, along with the rest of you, who the actual first runners-up are um, in the categories. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Clay Dennis to present the award for the Small Business of the Year in the category 1 to 20 employees. Thank you, Clay. Good morning. I'd like to introduce the finalists for the 2011 Small Business of the Year Awards in the categories of 1 through 20 employees. As I call your name, please have, please have one representative from your organization come to the side stage. Call your construction. Ribbon and bows, oh my. River City Property Management. Collier Construction is a general contractor that provides services for projects ranging from additions and renovations to custom residential and commercial construction. Since the company was founded in 2002, it has built 25 new custom homes and completed numerous projects in the greater Chattanooga area. Each of Collier Construction's jobs range in style and size. Unlike many general contractors, Collier Construction provides maintenance and repair services for projects of any scope. The company also uses small projects as an opportunity to help homeowners improve energy efficiency, durability, and the health of their homes. Since 2008, Collier Construction has overseen nine commercial projects, including a glass blowing studio, a green park pavilion, and a sustainable urban hostel. Throughout its whole systems approach, the company reduces environmental impact while helping homeowners minimize their energy consumption. Collier Construction prides itself on promoting sustainable building practices and educating the public about the importance of green construction. Collier representatives say a major key to their company's growth has been expanding their operations and diversifying the services they provide. With just $50, a few spools of ribbon, and an internet connection, self-employed seamstress Jennifer Hinker managed to spin a few homemade crafts into a $2 million enterprise. Ribbon & Bows Oh My is now a rapidly growing online retailer that ships headbands, caps, appliques, corkers, flowers, scrapbooking paper, and over 250 prints to locations all over the U.S. This year alone, the company has seen a 25% increase in sales. Since relocating to Chattanooga four years ago, Jennifer and her husband Paul have transitioned their company's operations from a 3,600 square foot shop into a 10,000 square foot facility. They have also acquired three new printers and have hired 18 employees. This growth has enabled Ribbon and Bows oh My to produce 8,000 to 10,000 yards of ribbon a day. Jennifer attributes the company's recent success in part to its central positioning on United Postal Service and post office routes. According to Jennifer, shipping products, which is a primary expense for the online retailer, is done much less expensively from Chattanooga than from most other mid-sized cities. The Hinkers say relocating to Chattanooga has given them the flexibility to direct their resources toward expanding their business. 
As ribbon and bozo Mai continues to grow, the Hinkers expect to focus on diversifying the products they sell and developing high impact marketing strategies. Robin Judd founded River City Property Management in October of 2000 as a full service management enterprise. The company offers services in tenant placement, tenant screening, collections, evictions, setouts, maintenance, and emergency maintenance. During her first three years in business, Robin operated her company from the back of her car, her kitchen, and practically anywhere she could find a flat surface to write. After tireless hours spent networking in the community and marketing her company's services to potential clients, Robin was finally able to rent a small office space and hire one full-time employee. Over the last decade, River City Property Management has expanded its portfolio from two investors to more than 500. The company now boasts an inventory ranging from single-family homes and multi-unit properties to small apartment communities and homeowner associations. River City Property Management is operated by 15 full-time employees and an array of industry subcontractors. In 2005, the company was able to relocate into a 4,000-square-foot space on Sylvan Street. Robin attributes River City Property Management's success to the great care and attention to detail she and her employees apply to each of the properties they manage, as well as their collective commitment to continuing education. And the winner of the 2011 Small Business of the Year Award in the category of 1 through 20 employees is Collier Construction. <laughs> wow. Uh. Thank you. That's a big deal. Um, well, I got one minute, so I have a lot of thanks to give ultimately to my Lord and Savior and our Heavenly Father. You know, uh, just three years of this economic climate and us being here is testament to his provision and what that looks like. And then, uh, of course, to my wife, who has just always uh, stood by me and been a big support. And then... Um, my employees who are just fantastic. I can remember a day when Collier Construction was just me and it wasn't a very good company. And <laughs> if any of you did business when it was just me, with me, I apologize. <laughs> we are what we are today because of the employees that work for Collier. And we've had such a loyal uh, base of customers who continue to come back to us and continue to refer us to new customers and new projects. And of course, we have a great city that we operate this business in that's really gotten behind a, a green building construction company. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. I, I don't even know who the winners are until you do. So this is really exciting. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce Bill Norton, the 2010 Small Business SBA 21 to 50 employee recipient for Metro Services to come and announce the next winner. Good morning. Chattanooga is the most uh, patriotic city in the world. And uh, that's exemplified by our singers this morning as they sing. It, it just really does me good to hear that. And that's one of our involvements is in the, in the civic and the patriotic area. Metro Services is a HVAC, a mechanical company that does business in the Chattanooga area, as well as we do renewable energies in the southeast and we, we do burner services worldwide. And the one thing that I've noticed with all of these uh, organizations that are up for this award today is, is the commitment to excellence of every one of them. I'm familiar with all of these organizations and the commitment to excellence is, is outstanding and the finalists are Info Systems Inc. If you'll come to the stage as I call your name. Luke and Holdings. and Metalworking Solutions.
Founded in 1994, Infosystems Incorporated is a Chattanooga-based information technology solutions firm that provides a variety of computer network services, including technical support, design, and consultation. Owned and operated by 30-year IT veteran Clay Hales, the company is emerging as one of the fastest-growing virtualization, network integration, and managed services companies in the region. Over the years, InfoSystems has developed more than a dozen partnerships with leading information technology companies. These partnerships have allowed InfoSystems to provide a broader range of solutions at reasonable prices. During the economic downturn, InfoSystems continued to grow by investing in employees and taking a more aggressive approach to marketing. In 2009, InfoSystems increased advertising by 20%, increased company-sponsored events by 65%, and invested heavily in new technologies, trainings, and certifications. By the end of 2010, InfoSystems had increased its revenue by more than 40%. According to Hale, Chattanooga has been the ideal location to incubate his company's products and services. The community's technological advancements and its many medium-sized businesses have allowed InfoSystems to expand its customer base and tap into potential for future growth. Lucan Holdings Incorporated is a property management company that nurtures a real estate core of more than 40 major properties throughout the city. Founded through a 1999 merger, the company owns and operates approximately 3 million square feet of space in Chattanooga, including downtown landmarks such as the Tivoli Center, the Crystal Building, the Talon Building, and the James Building. Lucan Holdings was the first downtown multi-tenant building owner and manager to implement fitness facilities for tenants in several of its buildings. The company collects recycling materials and has also implemented a program to retrofit its LED lighting installations in several buildings downtown. Each year since 2008, Lucan Holdings has increased its total employee count and expanded its net income and customer base. The company also refinanced a $30 million loan in 2009 and 2010. That undertaking required nine months of close teamwork by the company's 21 employees. Despite the additional workload, Lucan Holdings continued to meet the regular demands of day-to-day -day operations in a challenging market for commercial real estate. According to President and CEO Linda Childress, Lucan Holdings has been able to stay ahead of market trends by constantly thinking forward, remaining flexible, and working creatively with companies affected by trying market conditions. When Bill Hughley founded Metalworking Solutions with his wife Amy in 2006, he had no customers, no equipment, no supplier relationships, and no budget for marketing and advertising. What Hughley did have was a solid business plan and 40 years of industry experience. With a keen eye for opportunity, Hughley structured his enterprise around the metalworking industry's need for a supplier that strategically used technology to produce quality products at a reasonable price. Operating the new business model Hughley and his wife launched, Metalworking Solutions quickly gained traction. Backed by cutting-edge technology, lean manufacturing processes, and a commitment to timely delivery, Metalworking Solutions is able to provide outsourced sheet metal components and assemblies to original equipment manufacturers operating within virtually any industry. During its first year of business, Metalworking Solutions earned just over a million dollars. By 2010, revenue had more than tripled. Hughley says his company's ability to adapt to change by embracing future technologies and lean processes is largely responsible for its growth. Through its strategic use of technology, Metalworking Solutions consistently produces precision parts at a price and pace that's hard to match. Congratulations to all the finalists and the winner of the 2011 Small Business of the Year Award in the 21 to 50 category is Metalworking Solutions. Congratulations. Thank you for recognizing the accomplishments of our team. In the end of the day, great companies are built of and by great people. But before you can get to the great people, you've got to have people that believe in you. 
They got to believe in you. Somebody has to believe in the dreamer. First, it's my wife, it's my partners, it's my banker. Thank you all. God bless you. <laughs>
After realizing the East Brainerd area lacked a Zaxby's restaurant, an eatery they had always appreciated for its great wings and social atmosphere, the Browns decided to do something about it. In 2001, their efforts culminated with the formation of JSB Holdings, which opened its first Zaxby's on Gun Barrel Road. That initial success, fueled by their mission to create enjoyable encore experiences for their customers, led the Browns to expand to locations in Saudi Daisy, Ultawa, and on Highway 58. For the Browns, growing their business hasn't come without difficulty. Challenges presented by job loss and a rocky real estate market threaten their restaurant's success. But the Browns demonstrated considerable courage and entrepreneurial spirit by continuing to strive despite those setbacks. Since 2008, JSB Holdings Zaxby's has enjoyed a 2.49% revenue increase and a 5% decrease in employee turnover rate. The Browns attribute the success of their restaurants to convenient locations and the company's commitment to the community. They also credit the Chamber's Business Development Center for helping them locate the resources that help them get their business off the ground. The winner of the 2011 Small Business of the Year Award in the 51 to 200 employee category is JSB Holdings Zaxby's. I'm not sure what to say. <clears throat> Another one of God's miracles, I can tell you that. Um, I got an email last night and said I might better prepare something so I wouldn't forget who to recognize because I'm a loss for words right now. Um, I'll tell you, if it wasn't for people like uh, the Reverend and ex-Mayor Mike Steele and um, our pastor at Barron Baptist Church, Rob, uh, Robbie Gallaty, I probably wouldn't be here today. Um, I'm not sure if I can keep this under a minute, but I'll try. Um, I have to give a lot of credit to my wife, um, Julie. If, if it wasn't for her, she <laughs> and many many men would have left a long time ago, much less my wife. Um, our operating partners, uh, Matt and Christy Ashad, um, Bob and Brenda Dow, my assistant Randy Penland. Um, just to name a few people, and um, obviously a lot of you guys here are customers, and I appreciate that very much. Um, there's one thing that I have to recognize, too. There's a few men here in this audience today that without them, I couldn't have done this either, and that's um, Steve Dillard and Dillard Construction and his family, and uh, Larry Armour, if you're here, thank you. God bless you for everything you do, and, and those guys have been mentors to me and um, given me guidance when I didn't know what to do sometimes. So I just want to thank them, and, um, and uh, there's one thing I want to leave you guys with. My wife bought me something for Christmas that kind of culminates a lot of what we do and uh, I guess has gotten me to where we are today, and it says this, if you want one year of prosperity, grow grain. And if you want 10 years of prosperity, grow trees. If you want 100 years of prosperity, grow people. So that's kind of what we're all about, and I appreciate it very much. This means a lot. Of it. Fantastic. And now at this time, I would like to introduce Paul Grove, the 2010 Non-For-Profit of the Year recipient with WTCI-TV and PBS. Good morning. Everyone at WTCI, our board of directors, our incredibly dedicated staff, and uh, our volunteers and all of our wonderful members that support us truly felt that this was an honor to win the nonprofit of the year uh, last year, so much so that we put a bunch of spots on our air that uh, recognized this wonderful award. So at this time, I would like to introduce the finalists for this year's nonprofit of the year award. As I call your name, please have one representative 
for the organization come to the side stage. Friends of the festival. <laughs> Junior League of Chattanooga. <laughs> and Tennessee Aquarium. As one of the community's premier providers of musical entertainment, Friends of the Festival orchestrates some of Chattanooga's most highly attended summer events. For the last 30 years, Friends of the Festival has brought the community together through the Riverbend Festival, and in more recent years, through Riverfront Nights and the Chattanooga Classic. By offering a diverse mix of music and programming, the organization endeavors to create a sense of community around the entertainment it provides. In addition to promoting a shared sense of community, Friends of the Festival generates strong local economic benefits. Founded in 1981, Friends of the Festival was formed to draw people to Chattanooga's downtown area in support of efforts to revitalize the Central Business District. Over the course of its history, the organization has donated more than $75,000 in festival exhibit space, built two Habitat for Humanity houses, and contributed more than $35,000 to charities and over $26,000 to nonprofits. Unlike many peer organizations in other communities, Friends of the Festival grew during the recent economic recession. By maintaining stable admission costs, the organization continues to bring members of all economic backgrounds together and garnering high returns on investment for all of its sponsors. The Junior League of Chattanooga has been providing opportunities for women to make a positive impact on their communities for nearly a century. Founded in 1917, JLC is the second oldest junior league in the South and has a long history of advocacy on issues ranging from public health to literacy. From 2009 to 2010, the Junior League of Chattanooga gave financial and volunteer support to 25,332 families, women, and children in the Hamilton County area. During this same time, the organization awarded $20,253 to 24 Hamilton County schools through its mini grants program to help teachers integrate new creative learning opportunities into their curriculum. In recent years, the Junior League of Chattanooga has also launched an initiative to address problematic health trends in Hamilton County. The health the Healthy Starts initiative, created through a collaboration with several community groups, is driven by five health awareness programs that target elementary school children, parents, and expecting mothers. The programs educate these groups about preparing nutritious meals, healthy pregnancies, physical fitness, oral hygiene, gardening, and self-image. In 2008 and 2009, unusually low cash flows threatened the Junior League of Chattanooga's ability to fulfill its monetary obligations. By renegotiating contracts with its partners, the organization was able to exchange additional volunteers for the opportunity to make smaller payments over longer periods of time. This compromise allowed the Junior League of Chattanooga to fulfill its promises while still remaining fiscally responsible to its volunteers. The Tennessee Aquarium has long been hailed as the icon of Chattanooga's downtown renaissance. Since opening in 1992, the aquarium has attracted nearly 18 million visitors to the area. As the nation's only accredited museum-based supplementary education school, the aquarium enhances classroom learning for more than 100,000 students and teachers each year. In addition to providing educational outreach, the aquarium works to protect and restore wildlife through conservation and research. It also provides community leadership through partnerships and collaborations. Over the last several years, the aquarium has received overwhelming acclaim for its programs, including the prestigious National Medal for Museum and Library Service, and identification as the highest rated U.S. aquarium. The organization has also been honored with the Conservation Educator of the Year Award, the Governor's Environmental Stewardship Award, and the North American Conservation Award. In 2010, the aquarium gave more than $1.6 million in free programs and services to its core community and engaged 14,000 students in more than 400 free classroom projects. Despite competition in recent years from sister institutions in Gatlinburg and Atlanta, the aquarium has continued to secure grants for special projects by distinguishing itself as the leading voice on the fragile aquatic ecosystem of the Southeast.
congratulations to these wonderful nonprofit organizations. You are all huge assets to this community. And the winner of the 2011 Nonprofit of the Year Award is Junior League of Chattanooga. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, I am so happy to accept this award on behalf of the 650 junior league women in our community. Um, I would like it, if you are in the league, we have two tables here, but I know there are many more of you here with us. If you are in the league, would you mind to stand? I would love the community to see that we are everywhere. We are in so many aspects of this community, um, many different companies. For 94 years, we have promoted volunteerism, developed the women leaders in our community, and effected change through these trained leaders. Um, it has been a pleasure to work with many of you companies through the years. We look forward to hopefully working and partnering with many more of you in the future years to effect change in our community. Uh, thank you so much. This is really a great honor. Thank you. Congratulations to all the winners. They're wonderful companies. They make, uh, make you feel proud to live in Chattanooga with companies that have accomplished what they have. And I also want to thank uh, Denise for the wonderful job that she has done as uh, chairperson of this event. And uh, it's a beautiful day, I think, outside. At least <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's going to be nice. And I want to brighten up her day a little by giving her some flowers here as a it's just a gift for thank everything you've done. So thank here you. are some flowers. Thank you very much. And let's give her a hand. Thank you, Denise. As you may know, uh, Chattanooga is under consideration to be named the Intelligent Community of the Year. And uh, you can help our community earn this honor by liking the Smart City Chattanooga page on Facebook. You've got some information here. I had to look that word up. I, uh, <laughs> you know, that's not necessarily my generation, and, and I thought this is, a, this is a mistype, a misspelling or something, but you do go to that web page and like, like it. <laughs> and, and it's extremely important that we do that because uh, this would be a absolute fantastic honor for Chattanooga to receive. So if you would do that. Uh, also before leaving today, be sure and stop by the uh, Chattanooga Business Expo here uh, with the exhibitors that uh, are participating in the largest business uh, trade show of the year uh, in our community. And also this year, all of our expo exhibitors are eligible for a drawing with a chance to win two airline tickets from American Airlines. Now the winning exhibitor can collect the tickets from the chamber booth, which is as, uh, as you enter the exhibit hall, the chamber booth is right there. And the drawing has already been done, and I have the winner here, and if they, this person would claim their tickets at that booth, that winner is Ellen Allen of Aflac. And if I had known that ahead of time, I would have had that little duck here. Uh, <laughs> but we didn't know who was gonna win it ahead of time. Once again, congratulations to all the participants and the winners. Uh, and every business in this room uh, is a winner for Chattanooga, Tennessee. Please enjoy the exhibition. We look forward to seeing you again next year. We are adjourned, thank you.